Hello, everyone. It's Michael Jacob with Unleashing Intuition Secrets, and I'm super thrilled to be joined finally by Scott McKay. So we have been trying to like uh, coordinate, getting together for quite some time, and here we are. Scott, how are you doing, brother? I'm doing fantastic, but I'll get better. <laughs> Even better than fantastic? That's pretty amazing. <laughs> pretty cool things happening in the world, man. <laughs> I know. I, I agree. I agree. So, you know, we're, we're keeping positive. You know, because that's what we do. We keep everybody positive, keep everybody focused. We're making uh, we're making everybody know what's going on, helping them to know what's going on. Some people don't completely connect. What? How are you overcoming the people that are just kind of like you know disgusted and you know down in the dumps? Uh, I mean, you if they wouldn't quit, if they would quit like taking you off YouTube like me. You know, we'd have million subscribers by now. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's a little frustrating, but you know, like the the warriors that we are, we keep focused, we keep moving. How do you overcome this stuff? Well, you know what? I think what helps us a lot, and I'm I'm uh, I'm glad you're doing it too. But you know, we were on our ninth channel, and so what I've seen a lot of people say started reaching out to me early. Look, they've taken down your channels. You get 150 thousand subscribers. Boom, it goes down. You build it back up in three weeks. You're almost there again. Boom, they keep doing it. So because I have that sort of defiance uh, against the scumbag class anyways. And I'm like, this is war. Watch this. We're going to keep coming back. And I keep doing it. What it did do is, in my opinion, Mike, is it taught people to fight, to fight. Because, yeah. and I said, I said this a number of times, I don't allow anybody anymore to use my virtues against me. I don't allow them to use my good nature, my diplomacy, my dignity, my kindness against me. Because in my life, those character traits nearly got me killed and we nearly lost the nation over it. So if anything that, that inspires people to be positive is somebody that's showing them, fight them, identify who these people are that have always been destroying humanity. They're scumbags. Once they realize, Hey, they are. And if these guys are willing to say it and fight them, I want to join the fight. Once they get in the fight, the people that are confident are the ones in the fight. Those who are not, they're sitting back doing nothing to contribute. So um, I, look, I, I look at it this way. Humanity is what we are. We're truly special and all of us together unified. There's no, four, we don't even need all of us on the whole planet. We need about a half a percent mm -hmm. and we take the planet and, and can reconfigure it the way our creator wanted it to be. It just takes people realizing that we can win this easily and very quickly, but you gotta, you gotta look at the high vibration side of everything. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And I remember when we first met uh, there in Daly Plaza, you were sneaking up on me. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> you got close, though. I'll give you that. That's pretty good. <laughs> so uh, if, if I give you another half step, you'd been on me. So it's it's kind of interesting. You know, I, I looked at you. I'd seen your shows. I, you know, I said, man, I got to connect with this guy. And here we are, you know, meeting. So I rarely meet people that I talk with, you know, so it was, it was great to actually meet you and, uh, you know, get, get to know you on a deeper level. So I, we were talking and uh, you and Goldilocks, you know, I said, Scott, you got angel wings. And you're like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you know, I got them. You got them. Goldilocks here has them because we like hang together, you know. And uh, you're like, wow. So you, and I was like, yeah, I'll look around the plaza here. I'm sure I'll see somebody else. And I looked around the plaza. I didn't see anybody with angel wings. It was like hundreds of people there. I was like, I, I guess you guys are only one. So, you know. We are of the light. We are light warriors. So what I love that's going on right now is there's no violence from our side, physical violence. And that we're overcoming these guys just with our consciousness, like you just talked about. So that's the powerful thing that we have in our favor going forward. You know, our connection to uh, source, our connection to higher uh, consciousness levels and so forth. Uh, we bring that in. And we, we avoid the violence. I know a lot of people are very frustrated, like, oh, we're being duped. We should have, like, you know, revolted long ago. It's like, no, we're winning. Look at 21 states right now don't have mass mandates. And it's pushing back, pushing back more and more every day. So what, what are your thoughts on all that? Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to going after these cabal players, it's not our fighting that scares them. It's our unification that scares them. Yeah. Because and it's and it's not just you know, the, the sheer magnitude of the numbers stacked up against these few people. And there's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a Mexican standoff. They're looking like, Oh, we, we can't win this. It's not that at all. 
it's what I respect so much about you. I talk about you a lot about this. Like, I mean, look at Mike Jaco. Look at, just look at him. Look at him. He's this badass warrior, highly trained. He's always talking about the love. The love. I'm like, that's just, that. what a dichotomy. Right. And a better example than anybody I know to talk about that. Because when you have people unifying, coming together, and I was just talking to uh, my friends on a show I just did, wonderful people, fly, uh, uh, conservative uh, flyover. Um, and I was talking about that. Look how we're all meeting each other. We're on this mission for humanity. You fall in love with each other instantly because we're all inspired by this mission to save humanity. That, that, that energy frequency just climbs um, as it did in Las Vegas. And we came together in what I've called the digital continental Congress. <laughs> and, uh, and so when we're all together as a society unifying, it's not the fight that, and, and the stare down that's going to win. It's the frequency just vibrates at such a high level. These negative free density beings, negative frequency beings, low frequency, it drives them down even further and they, it breaks their will to, to go up against us in any fashion. That's kind of how I see it from the quantum realm. Yeah, that's, that's, wow. I, I couldn't have said it better, but I can help you. Uh, I can help you by, you know, tag team. It's like we're in, the, we're in the ring, you know, we're, you're in their fight. You just like, you know, slam, do some body slams, come over, tap me. I'm, I'm in now and do my body slams. <laughs> so I'm yeah. going to pick them up and fling them. So yeah, the quantum realm is the thing that puts us above them. And, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, spiritual, spiritual special forces guys, you know, we, we know how to work around these guys. Like, you know, we, they, they constantly take us down. Uh, we just like get up, you know, brush it off and then work around them. And keep coming at them, keep coming at them, keep coming at them. And that's what more and more people are starting to see that it's effective. So the more we keep coming at them, the more we expose all the lies, all the BS that, you know, they keep putting out there about, you know, the, the arm pump and all that kind of stuff. It's really that arm pump thing is really going to take a lot of people down. Unfortunately, uh, I think we, we are aware of that. So trying our best you know, to uh, inform people on that so they can make the correct decisions or whether, you know, of course, it's a choice, you know, uh, whether you do that or not. But having people uh, informed, you know, to make their, the correct decisions that are constantly being bombarded like they have for over a year, you know, this is deadly. This is deadly. Yet, yet less than, you know, 1% die from it. And it's, uh, it's very, very frustrating. Knowing what I know and what you know, uh, having been behind the scenes and seeing the way these people play and manipulate and uh, the horrific things they do, we know that it's a mind game that they're doing on people. It's it's horrific. It's it's brutal what they're doing. And uh, you know, having having people like us come out and expose that that have been there, done that, and can and now are out in front. You know, talking like a year ago, year and a half ago, I would have never have seen myself doing anything like this. You know. Yeah why professional, you know, I, I don't, I don't come out and like, you know, Hey, look at me, you know, just not, not something that, you know, special forces guys do, but like you, I see this is a war and having been trained for war and seeing this is the worst war that America's ever been in. And people don't realize it. We have to, we have to speak out. We have to come out and tell people. Yeah. And I'll tell you, um, you know, your voice is as powerful as anybody out there for that, that specific reason. And, and when I talked about this in Vegas, I just on a whim, like, okay, I'm like, you know, my vibrations up and I'm like, here's what we need. We need former Navy SEALs, high level special operators to come off the bench and get in this war. Because in my opinion, it creates the tipping point. In fact, I'm going to start working with this, uh, with Dave Scarlett, because he, we talked about this on a show uh, last week. Nice. And, um, because I said this, look, and, and it, this doesn't exclude, you know, you know, Delta Force guys, you know, Air Force commandos, recon Marines, Army oh, yeah. Rangers, highly specialized, specialized trained warfighters. And what I want to, and I've been talking to Navy SEALs around the country, by the way, uh, two of these guys, uh, they both uh, had the BUDS training from you and, oh, nice. and you're, you, they hold you an in incredible reverence, which was very heartwarming for me to hear. And, <laughs> and, and it, the cool thing, Mike, about one dude, he's like, uh, yeah, man he's just the calmest guy you've ever seen. I'm like, I know, like here, you know, here I am getting ramped up, got my tomahawk, you know, ready to go every, <laughs> every day. I love, love it. But, but you're just the smooth operator. But so that was cool to hear that from people who actually had interaction with you 
yeah. in, uh, when you were training them in Bud's stuff. But anyways, my belief is this, that people rally around strength, especially quiet strength. And yep. so if I can draw enough of these people out off the bench to help them understand, like Dennis told me, he said, you know what? I just feel after all this, we really were highly trained professional door kickers for all these bankers, bankers and the people were making a fortune off of war. Right. And, and you guys come back with what you have on your mind, your soul, right? And just easily just, okay, thank you. And I, I explained to him, look, this is your opportunity because that training, all right, you're, the, this mission is not over. That was one evolution of helping you be prepared for what is to come. This most important look, when I walked away from God in 1999, I like, I flipped them off. We're done. After 20 years of divinity study, I'm, I'm out and, and drop the anvil. I don't care. So I went down to the quantum physics realm that became my new passion, my Bible. And I was already in epistemology, philosophy, metaphysics, you know, get down through the list, trying to find the blueprint. And then one day, as I'm looking for enlightenment, I get sledgehammered by a terrific crash that they pulled me out of a grave on. And I went through a long period of, you know, learn to walk again, all these things, all that was preparation for what I had been asking for enlightenment and want to make sure that I can help save humanity. And guess what? Here's where we are. So these special operators out there that I talked to all that stuff you did was preparing you psychologically and spiritually, because if you go to these school board meetings, you, because, and I tell, tell these guys, when I was saying, I can't believe Mikey saying, I just, I just can't believe I'm talking to Scott McKay. I'm like, Oh my God, what's this guy? I'm like, let me explain something to you. I told uh, Kelly this. I said, do you know, I'm thinking the same thing about you. Cause when I grow up, I want to be you. I said, do you know that when people see you guys in public, you don't know this. You've taken it for granted long ago. Does this is who I am? People in public everywhere, they'll say, hey, did you see that dude right there? That guy's a Navy SEAL. Are you kidding me? So they start watching. What does he walk like? What's he buying? What's he wearing? How does he move? That's how we are, right? We have such reverence for what you guys do. And I say, these guys come to a school board meeting, stand up and say, I got a question for you. I love my country. I served in special operations forces, Iraq, blah, blah, blah. And here I am in a point in my life where I'm thinking that good things are happening in this country, in the school district, but what I'm hearing right here tonight doesn't inspire me. Why this, why that? And then they give their dissertation. Like we've seen some other soldiers do on YouTube at some of these meetings. What happens behind them? The entire crowd's like, yeah, I'm with him. And it causes them to rise and say, he's here to fight and I'm going to join in. And I'm talking, you know, the, 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 um, the intellectual fight, the philosophical fight. I think you guys, and you're the best example out there, are the key to inspire people to get into the fight. And the fight is this philosophical battle, spiritual battle that we have to take, you know, against these cabal powers. Yeah, that, that's, that's fun. You know, I, I never, never saw myself like that. I was just like somebody that, you know, was able to like stay, stay focused and, uh, you know, make it all the way through. But, uh, you know, oh, dude, I was, I was pointing you out in Vegas. I'm like, Hey, check it out. There's Mike Jaco. Like, Hey, do you see Mike Jaco's here? <laughs> we love that about you guys, man. Oh, that's cool. But, but you're different. Know, Cause I, you're I'm so fire, you know, cause, uh, we, we do need people to like stand up like we're talking about and not, not just in the U S but also the whole world. And I see that you, we just, we've seen, uh, demonstrations recently in Europe where military guys, former military, probably some of those guys, special forces guys, you know, stood in front of uh, the police, uh, you know, making sure that the people were safe. That that brought a tear to my eye. I was like, oh, oh man, that's good. It. That's, that's what we all it. need to start doing, you know, more of that. So uh, as, as we people all over the earth, you know, start to stand up against this dark cabal, uh, like you're like you've been saying, it only takes a fraction of us to collapse that system. It's such a facade and we, we see through it, but I mean, look, you know, we got people, even though some of these states, 21 states now are maskless, you know, mask, mask mandates are gone. You see 95% of businesses still have them. So you can't even go into a business with, without a mask. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So some of those businesses need to step up. Uh, I think the, uh, you know, independent business men and women out there really need our support. A lot of them have been stepping up and taking a lot of flack 
And those guys are heroes to me, you know? Um, and, and that makes a difference moving forward because they, they're paving the path, you know, they're chopping through that jungle of uh, negativity that these deep staters put up there. Uh, and they have their minions, unfortunately, that get on board with them and, and help, you know, push their agendas. Uh, some witting, some unwittingly. Uh, I think the unwitting, eventually, they're going to they're gonna look back and go, oh, man, I, I feel bad. But the ones that are witting, it, there's, no, there's no hope for them. So I think that going forward, you know, a lot of these people uh, are going to get taken away. And I, I talk to, you know, people that are active, people that have uh, close uh, connections. And not just in my community, but all the different special forces communities all over the world, in fact that are telling me that people are being taken away and they're, and they're filling up some of these, uh, some of these places where they belong. And some of them are going away forever, you know? So that's, that's the thing I think that needs to happen because when these people start to wake up, you and I are awake and there's millions that are awake and we're like, we're not waiting for people. We're just like, we're like in that shield wall, you know, we're pushing, pushing. We see an opportunity, we push a little harder and like, you know, make them fall back more. Sometimes we get pushed back. Sometimes we push forward. So, you know, one step back, two steps forward. We, we're just constant. We've been constantly at this for over a year, helping people, you know, wake up, join the shield wall, get special forces, you know, get with the special forces guys here. Here we go. Let's move forward. Let's, let's do this thing. Yep. So it's, it's happening. It's happening. Is it going to happen like overnight? No. Everybody's thinking it's going to happen overnight. These guys have been in, these guys have been on us for thousands of years. And, and we are taking them down. It's going to happen very quickly in the uh, aspect of time. You know, I think within a, you know, another few months to a year, this is going to become very, very obvious how, how, how much of this takedown has happened. So those that wake up and go, let's go after these people. It's like, hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going to destroy America or Europe or whatever, whatever, wherever you're at, Canada, wherever you're at, you're not going to destroy your country because work has already been taken care of. People have been taken care of here. Yeah. And, you know, I think, Mike, one of the things that, that the fear factor that people have against the people that we're going after all the time is this. If I can frame it in a way to help people understand <clears throat> how, um, how they're not impervious to our force, any projection of our force, spiritual, even if it was physical. But the simple fact is we look at them as all powerful. Because they control all levers of power on the planet. They control civil societies, nations, whatever. But the only way they've been able to accomplish that, because they're scared shitless to go up against humanity. So what do they do? They have to lie. They have to cheat. They have to steal. They have to stack the courts. They got to threaten politicians. They got to buy them off. They got to bribe them. They got to kill them. Anybody that could, could go up against them in amassing the power that they've acquired is for one reason. They're scared shitless to compete on the playing field with humanity. They could never get there because they're weak. They truly are weak. People would look at them as powerful. No, no. They're weak people that are criminals that figured out how to build a machine so they wouldn't have to compete against us, the good people of the planet, because they knew they would lose. So therefore, they constructed it this way because the only way they can win is by having built the matrix they've got to make us dependent on it, number one. And they also have the power of perception that we believe that they are smarter, they're more savvy, that they're all powerful, special people on the planet. These people are anything but that, anything but that. Because if they were, all of their power would have been amassed in helping humanity and extending our reach, all of it, it'd be an incredible planet, but they don't have that kind of power. It's like power versus force. Power is drawing toward you. Force is an incursion against. That's all they've ever had because they don't have the power to draw people to a higher, more noble mission or to get them to follow them to do anything. So once people can realize, I don't care if it's George H.W. Bush or Shrub or any of these other people that likely aren't here and these high level Clinton people, you get behind a door and have drinks with them. You realize they ain't nothing. They're not, these people are nothing. They just are criminals and are willing to do things we, the good people aren't willing to do once we all just rise and, you know, spiritually go against them, there's just nowhere for them to go except inward in this massive collapse. And like you, I think people think that getting there is this arithmetic progression of ground taken spiritually, whatever, right? 
it's not arithmetic. It's geometric. Two becomes four becomes eight, 16, 32, 256, 5, 12, 1024. You know, 20, 30 days later, the numbers and the projection of our captured territory is massive. So it's very rapid. Once it starts, you know, once that ignition point starts, getting that shuttle off the launch pad, you know, watch it in about, you know, five or eight or 10 seconds when that thrust becomes massive. Same thing here. So if people are worried about the timeline, look, like you said, you said from months to a year, whatever, well, how could it happen months or a year? Well, that all depends on us. How many of us are coming forward with that spiritual psychological aim to get that frequency high enough to make the geometric explosion happen where that collapse happens naturally, in my opinion. Wow. I mean, I, I love, I love, love hearing you talk. I just like want to kick back and I'm doing a show here with you, but I'm like, God, it's like amazing. It's amazing insight. So, you know, it's, it's, it's always a pleasure to, you know, be around, you know, uh, super men, you know, super women, because I, I feel that a lot of us have tapped into that. All of us have that ability. There's a lot of people that are waking up to their abilities. Uh, I think that everyone right now that's watching this, you know, ask yourself, what can you do? Know that you are very powerful in your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. So it's a vibrational field that we're in. As you think your thoughts you create your reality. So just like you were talking about in this quantum realm, this quantum super in our thoughts, especially when they're combined. Now I was in the SEAL teams and uh, other special units and the CIA and stuff like that. Where I work with really high speed people. You know, when we work together, we did unbelievably impossible things. And that's what's happening right now with all of us that are waking up and pushing our consciousness into a new realm, into a golden age. We're, we have our focus on this golden age. In this quantum realm, we're created. We see it in our minds. We don't have to actually feel it and see it right now. We know it's there and we're moving across the environment to get there. This environment, this you know, negative soup that we're in, you know, doesn't keep us down. You know, I remember being in like super cold water and buds, you know, buds was like super, it was like. I went to a different level in my consciousness and buds, but buds was like, it says basic. I, I have been much colder. I've been much more miserable in combat and, uh, you know, working with the CIA and so forth, uh, being out all by myself sometimes, you know, walking around in places, meeting people, you know, dressed up as a local going, Oh my God, somebody sees me. That's a bad guy. I'm going to be in a bad way, but, uh, you know, just working through those environments and believing that what I was doing was good and, uh, you know, working for people and with people that are good and that are focused on making things happen. So you and I and other people that, you know, are stepping up and pushing back on this and helping other people see a bigger light. I had Juan Savin on yesterday. He was talking about how, you know, the military is involved. I can vouch for that. The military is involved. He says, if you knew the bigger things that were going on, you would understand, but know that they are doing their job and knowing that's happening and knowing that on an intuitive level, we can be more peaceful going forward. We don't have to stand up and start to push back yet. All right. Physically. Now in the realm that we're talking about standing up for our rights, you know, pushing back legally and so forth, pointing out bad people like Andrew Cuomo and, you know, Gavin Newsom and all these other people that are like, you know, wrecking their economies so that this communist system can come in. We start to see that we start to point that out and we start to point them out as being extremely evil people. And then people are like, really? Yeah, I start to see that. Yeah. You know, Gavin Newsom. Yeah, he was like, he's in this one restaurant, you know, saying that we all had to wear masks. We, we couldn't be more than a few people in a restaurant or together. And here he is without his mask. No one in his group has a mask. It's a big group. They're all like hanging out, ha laughing, laughing at all of us, probably, <laughs> you know, that are, like, you know, following their rules, their edicts, uh, which have no basis in legal, in, le in the legal realm, in the constitution, no basis. So it's, uh, it's, we're starting to see that we're starting to push back. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. And I'll tell you, um, I want to ask you a question, but I also want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Last night on the tipping point, that's a radio show that I do. I've lately, while I'm doing the radio show, I just hit live stream on YouTube and just live stream the radio show. Nice, Mike, you got to go to Patriot street fighter seven, 
watch this interview I brought on Chris Sky from Canada. I've named oh, him. I saw that. Oh, oh my dude. God, dude, that was amazing. Did you, did you see last night's show? Or? Yeah, yeah. I was I'm, like, I'm with you, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm all totally with you. Yeah, it was amazing. God, I'm like that guy. I was like, wow. I, was like, I said to Ron this morning. I said, everyone can learn from him. Yes. Oh yeah. I said, you know oh, what, yeah. Ron? I said, I met my match. I think I have. I been know, right? I've been exceeded. That guy. <laughs> I agree, yeah. Me guy, as well. Oh, he's a forking beast, man. I, wow. I, I got a massive. I had my, my man crush for Mike Jaco has now been switched over to Chris. Oh, yeah. I'm it's, like, totally dude, accept that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. I, everybody <laughs> needs to see him. I didn't have, and you know, I like bringing guys like him, especially the radio show because it's two hours. Right. All these shows I do during the week, when I get to that, it's like Monday, I got to do like a couple shows and then it's two hour radio. I'm like exhausted. I like bringing a guy on. I just say a few words, turn it over, and I'm over here catching my breath, right? Having yeah. a guy like him on, but well beyond my expectations. If, if America, and, and I, I'm telling everybody, great thing is, and you have this too, I'll grab, I'll have a show. I guarantee you there's three other channels right now that have more views on their channels with that video than I do. No, right? Doesn't that suck? Oh, yeah. But, hey, it is what it is. So at least it's getting yeah. out there. <laughs> and they're getting paid. They got to monetize. I know, like, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. And I tell them, you know what? Take my stuff. I said it from the very beginning. Take all my stuff. Absolutely. Monetize yourself. Use it. Just get the message out. Don't take my trademark logo and don't call yourself my Patriot Street Fighter brand. And then the ones that do, I beat the shit out of them. Anyways, <laughs> so so he, he, so people need to see that because this is what oh, we yeah. do. And he showed us one man has that much power, dude, to make the authorities in his own country like now – well, you know, handle this guy with kid gloves. But so my I question like the one where he's talking about and they wrote me a ticket and they, they spelled my name wrong. So when I go to court to like blow them out of the water, they'll have to throw it out because it's not my name. I was like, oh, God, I know all this <laughs> stuff. This is this is so accurate. And he was talking about how he went through homes to get to this one. I was like, wow, you like a, <laughs> the CIA. This is what we did in the CIA. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, he's 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 rocks. Definitely rocks. He, he totally rocks. He, he, I think he's going to be a great wake up call for the American citizens. Like I got so many people from Canada, like reaching out I, to me last night. They are so fired up. I'm like, Hey Americans, you see what our Canadian brothers and sisters are doing. They're up there? more locked down than we are. And he's, yeah. Doing that. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, uh, so the question I have for you is, you know, when people look at Mike Jaco, we see what we see, right? Like Mike Jaco, mm -hmm. what, what, where was it like in, in, like in your world, let's get to the baseline of how uh, back then you just Mike Jaco, you, you know, you did this and you know, he did this and it led from one thing to the next. So people find that relatable part of when you were just younger coming up from school, decide to go into military, you're probably just an average everyday guy. People think you woke up one day, you know, you were born, boom, God throws a thunderbolt on your mother's belly. Boom. Thor pops out and just goes, kicks it, kicking ass around the world. Right. That might be true for you. It's not for me, but I was kind of curious. What was that progression through the course of time where you just kept making these forward? Wow. Another discovery of what I can do forward. Wow. Another discovery forward. Another discovery. What is that progression for you? So people realize that they can become, you know, as sentient as you are. Yeah. It's a, it's that, uh, you know, very, that focus, like we were just talking about, you know, focused on, you know, the golden age that we, we need to be focused on right now. I did that as a five-year-old. I saw Navy frogmen. I love being in the water. I love swimming. It was, it was a big challenge. Were, were you near that? Were you near, near the base or something? You saw that? No, no, no. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was a movie. Just, uh, just had my tonsils taken out. And uh, my mom bought a black and white TV, a little black and white TV. So I'm sitting there watching this movie. Frogman. It's old, like a World War II movie that was basically uh, created to, you know, motivate people to come into the military. And I was like, wow, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so uh, for the next, you know, of course, I was five years old, wanted to be a frogman. I had to wait till I at least turned 18. And, um, and, and then boom, I'm out, you know, joining the Navy. But I, I always kept that focus. And then when, uh, you know, things got tough, you know, in training and so forth, I just kept my focus on, you know, what my goal was. And, and that's what, and I dreamed of, I used to watch all the James Bond movies. I like, you know, I read all the Ian Fleming books. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to do that someday too. <laughs> so after my career in the SEAL teams, I went, I went into the CIA and I did, in both of those realms, I did more than I could have ever imagined, you know, because always I would like, okay, accomplish that. 
what's next? Is no one does, no one's ever done that before? I'm going to do that. You know, no one's ever created a hand to hand program. I'm going to do that. No one's ever run a, a climbing, you know, school for the, for the teams. I'm going to do that. No one's ever had a, uh, you know, combat diver course that, you know, the, the teams can use. I'm going to do that. So it was on and on. It was like that, you know, my whole career. And then going into this, the CIA, it was kind of the same thing. It was like, we don't send anybody there because it's dangerous, even for us. I'm like, I'll go there. <laughs> so, and then it became <laughs> a big base, you know? So that's the way I've always been. And that's the way I am right now. I am like, we are going to ascend as, as humanity. Not everybody's going to come along. Not everybody becomes a Navy SEAL. Not everybody goes into CIA. Not everybody does whatever it is that whoever's watching that you have done. Every one of us is unique. Every one of us is absolutely magnificent in our own way. You have to get you have to get in, in touch with that. Whatever it is that you know is is amazing about you. We're all amazing. Whatever it is that's amazing about you, imagine what you can do with that. Focus on that and focus on it like a laser. And I guarantee you, if, as long as you keep your thoughts positive, because if you're like, I'm going to focus on this, but it's impossible. There's no way I could do that. You, you think you're going to do it? You think I had that kind of mentality when I went through Navy SEAL training? Absolutely not. I was like, I'm going to crush this shit, you know? And I, I did. So if you don't have that mentality with whatever you're doing, you're not going to succeed. So that's that's what I have. That's what I've done, you know? That's, that's what you've done. I mean, you overcame death, you know? I mean, you shouldn't probably be walking around, you know, and you are, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff that all of us, you know, have overcome, you know, our own unique challenges in life. And that adds to the collective. That's all I am. I'm just like a, I'm just like a nug like everybody else, but you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm a very focused nug, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. You know, it's like, it's like that Nike tagline, just do it. Right. Um, you know, and I think the thing about what, what people don't understand Here's an example, how everybody can contribute. I mean, look at your style, you know, your sentient, the love, former, you know, still virtual, you know, killer. <laughs> but you, you have this, you have this space that you occupy that's very unique. And then you look at, of course, I, I come in with a tomahawk, calling out the scumbags, anybody from the Rothschilds down to the bushes, down to the politicians, whoever. Uh, that, that's my purpose is to realize, help these people realize they're forking scumbags. They're, they're criminals, they're liars, thieves, murders, everything else. That's all they are. Now you know that. Let's go get them. Get rid of them, get them out of here. Then you have Mel Kay who comes on, who she has an extraordinary base of research and the information she has. You're like, wow. Then you get like Kirsten W. Kirsten is a, she says, I like you because you're the male version of me. Like, I'm going <laughs> to throttle you. You want to you know the truth? Don't ask me, you know, because right. she'll tell you. And then you've got someone like uh, like LT and, and Dave Scarlett, like his glory. Marines, spiritual Christian warriors, you know, they they follow, you know, the edicts of, of, of the bi biblical teachings and everything they do. Now, here's a, here, the reason I'm taking it down this path is now I'm doing a, uh, I, I said, I told Dave Rodriguez out in Vegas, I said, look, here's what we need to do. Most people in anything that you know, people do, they want to be a star. I mean, I'm, I've always avoided the spotlight for the last 15, 20 years. I've avoided it when I had it way back when I just, I'd rather be over in the corner, quiet, not quiet, but over in the corner, no lights. But so most people are, everybody wants to be the big show. I said, you know what? Here's my focus. Here's what I do. I go on a lot of these smaller channels. People are out there trying because yeah. I know if I come on, it's going to raise their profile, bring people in, and elevate their confidence. And other people say, well, if Scott McKay's on that show. Maybe I said, listen to them too. Exactly. Yeah. We don't need 50 generals. We need 50,000 soldiers on this battlefield. And so I'm enabling these other people to have the confidence to say, and just bring it. We're building an information army. He said, that's a brilliant idea. I said, it just makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So I was on one on Monday or last, maybe it was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. This guy, uh, his name is um, uh, Joe Hogston. And so he's kind of like the guys I gravitated toward in my world, you know, around, you know, the muscle heads, but I was always gravitating toward the guys of the intellectuals, you know, in school, you call them the geeks and the real intellectual guys, because that's always been what I've been drawn to, like the intellect, although I looked, you know, a little different. Um, but so I'm with Joe and he asked me to come on. He said, I've heard you talk about this. I'd like to actually go down the quantum physics rabbit hole. I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't know if I'd come on. So, so we go on this show 
And I, I don't even know if it was an hour, Mike, or 90 minutes, but I absolutely thoroughly enjoy. And once he got more comfortable, it's like, hey, Scott's just this everyday Joe lunch bucket guy. You know, I was expecting like, no, this is what it is. Oh, yeah. So we had, I had the greatest time with this guy because we went down the Q, the uh, you know, quantum physics rabbit hole. And here's a guy, he's a hidden gem, right? I'm going to get his show up on the channel, but I it so thoroughly enjoyed, maybe because my perspective was that he's just kind of coming up, but overcoming the fear factor and saying, I, I think I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a YouTube. I'm just going to, I'm going to get a YouTube channel. I'm scared shitless, but I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do it. Absolutely. Right. Those are the ones that I go get on because it, the courage for them to do that um, to me is so inspiring. And then to actually get into that dialogue, I'm like, damn, are we done. I mean, I, I had another show. I'm like, oh man, I wish I could have had to, another hour in there. But to me, that is like the coolest thing there's. And I'm saying this because people listen to this right now. You don't know what you can bring to this. You just look at Mike, you look at these other right. people, but at the end of the day, if you have a passion in your heart for humanity in this country, you want to be part of saving it, believe me, step up because once you do, you're going to find your full power emerging that you don't even know that you have. Right. Now, you know, I, I've seen your pictures in bodybuilding. You're absolutely a, a massive stud. Just uh, crushed it back in the day. And you've, you've taken that, you've taken that focus and put it into this you know, and put it into, this is your new passion. And, that, and that's, that's kind of the way I feel too. How do you see yourself going forward as far as like your passion? And I like what you're saying is like, we have a lot of privates out there, but when they step up and start to, you know, perform, let, you know, on, a, on another level, just make that commitment to push themselves, they become like sergeants. And then they become, you know, colonels and generals or admirals or whatever you want to be, you know, but, uh, you know, it takes that, that initial step. What, how do you see yourself going forward as far as like, you know, uh, you know, promoting, you know, people to go into this realm of consciousness, the quantum realm of consciousness, that's where we're going. How, how do you see that going forward? You know, um, as far as, um, you know, whether I have any influence in that or not, I don't know. Um, it seems like, and, and I got to tell you before I answer that uh, in whatever comes to me, but Tracy Joe is the one that really rescued me when we were in Vegas, when we first met that night at that beautiful home. Mm -hmm. And one thing I asked her, and I wanted to ask you the same thing, mm -hmm. because this kind of a rhetorical battle is completely contrary to my nature. And I always say, I'm, 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 I'm kind of happy to agree. My mother is not alive today, um, knowing me as she knows me, as anybody else knows me. And now to hear me raining down hellfire, calling out the shills, beating the shit out of me, like anybody, you know, that I do, yeah. um, because I don't have to see the look on her face. Like, oh my God, where's my son who took him over. But I, yeah. I just decided Mike, that I'm no longer going to allow anybody to use my virtues against me because it nearly got me killed once. And also we nearly lost the country. We, because we allow them to use our virtues against us. Right. This is how they fight the war. And if they want to get down in the sewer, and I got to get taken, take them on in the sewer. Believe me, I'm going to be reaching up from under the sewer and dragging them down deeper and beating the shit out of them on whatever level, because that's what we have to do to prepare to fight because I've taken that on. And I've had this amazing Ascension experience over those, you know, those years that I, you know, was pulled out of that grave and lost everything I own and no disability, nothing and starving and trying to survive to try to create a comeback that would make people say, wow. I can do something from where I sit. That was my purpose through that. Nice. But, but the, the thing, the thing about all that is, is this, is that I actually forgot my train of thought. The very point I was going to make about that. Um, the quantum realm. Yeah. Where are we going? Oh, so what, so it was at that point that I realized this was my Ascension gift. I'd been asking, somebody said 25 years ago, Hey, Ask Scott if a genie come out of a bottle, he'd get whatever he wants. See what he says. You know, most people say, give me a billion. I was always the same corny guy. I want enlightenment, right? So because that's all I've ever truly wanted, I wow. got it. And I wasn't prepared. It was a sledgehammer right to the forehead, right? Mm -hmm. That destroyed me. And so when I went on that walkabout down these rabbit holes of these different disciplines, away from Christianity and God, I knew there was a divine something. I'm going to get the blueprint. When it all came full circle, 
it was always his plan. This guy, this isn't going to work for this guy. I need to give him a more thorough picture of what I got going here. So when he comes back around, boom, when he lands back here at home with me, nobody's ever going to turn him away ever again because he's firmly rooted. And that's how I became rooted now it with my creator as a true physical experience that happened to me and everything else. Now, I was so worried that fighting this war like I do, and I've been wanting to ask you that for a long time when I see you, because I'm thinking this is what I'm willing to give up to save this country and hopefully the world. What price am I going to pay? Am I going to be left behind? And Tracy Joe said, no way. No, no. Oh, yeah. You're ascending through this because you are fighting an evil battle, a war against this to save humanity. I'm like, holy Mary, mother of God, that was a massive weight that came off of my shoulders. Truly massive. Now, moving, moving forward. All I can, all I can say is I know how to, to, uh, at least I have one viewpoint for me. I simply have to teach people their value and that they have to fight. Fighting is going to raise their vibration because they're getting on the playing field. They're on the battlefield. They're fighting for the good of humanity. It's going to rate, it's going to empower them. Not because it's a, it's a personal thing conscious thing it's a spiritual thing and they're going to feel it and people around them will get sucked into that vortex together and rise and so for me that's what you know we're talking about this patriot street fighter tour that we may be launching and it's to get out there number one see the people face to face touch them and say look it's just me i don't care what you see in the camera i don't care what you think there's no phone booth over here i jump into an hour i come and there's a cape this is all we all are, and this is all we have to do. And by just getting active, now that they're in the fight, that's where you come in and they start asking the right questions about spiritual ascension and human consciousness, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. I mean, your your spiritual connections, I think, is, uh, you know, what basically ascends you uh, as, as more people connect with that. And I've always told everybody, if you're 51 percent in the love vibration, your, your ascension material, you're going to move. And that's, that's what a lot of people have said, uh, masters have said throughout time. So it's, uh, you're, you're well, well above that, you know, uh, that's the, good the, way, know. the way you're, you're putting it out there is, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of, a lot of love, you know, the, the fear based consciousness, you know, we, we just don't go there. It's just not part of our vibration. Now, occasionally we see it and we're like, oh, you know, that's that's not where I want to be or, or help other people get out of that consciousness is, uh, you know, the thing that I'm trying to help people do. The love frequency is the thing that, you know, collapses the old system that we're, we're seeing collapse all around us right now. So in, on a, in a DNA type of uh, level, we're, we're kind of somewhat still in this this vibration. And as our DNA starts to, you know, commingle with these uh, quantum level forces, these vibrations, we start to pull out of like this goo, you know, this, this, these swamp creatures, you know, that we see around us are like, we're pulling out of that. We're walking out of that. We're moving away from that. And, you know, we've been part of that for so long. Some people are like, well, this is just who we are. It's almost like that Dante's Inferno scene where, you know, he's going down through hell and he sees all these people that he's known over time. You know that that are in the, the different levels and the fires of hell and so forth. They don't they don't know anything else. They're just stuck there. You know they could like you know raise their vibration or, get, or just walk out of there if they wanted to, like he does. But he's he's viewing it, and that's the kind of the way I see things right now. There's there's a lot of you know negativity out there that's been there for a long time, but there's those of us that are basically raising our consciousness out of this. And we're trying to help as many people as possible. This is going to be a massive ascension event, and uh, it's 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 quite uh, it's quite phenomenal to that. You know, we chose to be here at this time frame. Uh, it's it's unbelievable. So I see you as as one of the one of the great leaders going forward. So I, I would I wouldn't I would wow. doubt myself at all. Uh, that's that's just part of the, you know I doubted some of the stuff you know remote viewing, remote influencing, all those stuff. You know we 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 talked a little bit about that. That stuff that I doubted, you know, early on, because I'm a very analytical guy, science-based, and, you know, I'm like, that's not 
quantifiable. You know, I don't know about this, but it just kept happening and happening and happening. Like I had, I had stuff denying it and then go with it and do and utilize it to a, a unbelievable level. So that's what you're doing now. You're learning how to like, you know, use these amazing uh, insights. You're allowing, you know, source to work through you. You know, I get, I get missions where I go out and do stuff uh, as on the angelic realm and, uh, you know, take out evil. Uh, I, I've been doing that for a long time and it's, it's increasing as we go forward because the, the, the demonic realm is here like never before. And uh, so the stuff that you're sharing and other people are sharing, and like you're talking about, we need people that are, you know, special forces trained because we know how to, how to deal with uh, overcoming fear and, uh, you know, uh, extreme negativity, uh, people pushing against us. And I see that in you uh, and going forward, you're going to like, you know, be un unbelievable that now, hmm. what, what do you see uh, and how far out do you think it's going to be before, you know, things really start to come to light? For me, I thought it was going to be around this April time frame. We're going to start to see a little bit of light. What, what are you seeing from your end? Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. I've, I've uh, been pretty successful at not landing on any dates or time frames or whatever. And I, but I can say that I'm getting some intel from, from this uh, source that had reached out to me probably six, seven weeks ago. It was a little bit of a back and forth. I wouldn't say tug of war, but I was pushing back on a number of people because I didn't know who's who, but this is a, a, a very ancient, very old bloodline uh, group. And I can't say much more about that, but kind of a, kind of a protective type of group that's, you know, it's a, but anyway, so uh, over the course of time, they've shared some information with me, like unbelievable stuff, like, like evidence of, you know, so-and-so that's on the planet that would completely shock people because we figured they haven't been for a long time. But, um, but some of the things that they had shared with me is that um, obviously we know that there's these non-terrestrial influences and forces which are pretty amazing and i've seen uh you know i can't i can't show it but i've been I've, I've been some of that stuff's been shown to me to help me understand obviously they've been watching me for a while and they they realize that now he's definitely a rabbit hole guy that he'll get it but also that there's more in play here than we can imagine right. the things that were disconcerting to me that i heard is that you know again uh, these people are connected to these these uh these black ops you know uh, forces that are going into the dumbs and I think uh, what what I think what I'm getting from it is we paint this always rosy picture that you know that there's just we're just taking these things out and people need to understand there's a real battle here. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I you know I I believe that we're winning, you know. So what what do you how do you see it? Well, we are not winning, right? I get that very. We are not winning. Winning is nobody's dying on either side. There have been millions of people dead, and nobody's as much as batting an eyelash. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that was a literal. Uh, um, um, remark, but it did put me in check that um, I I am I can't afford to paint this totally rosy picture. There's a true fight because because like okay. we had these 200 soldiers that were taken out in this uh, in this this operation, this basically a, um, a surrender operation. And so I remind my people that listen, there are soldiers every day dying on the battlefield underground there are wives and kids no longer going to have the, their, their whole life show up at home again we have to understand this and if you understand this then it makes you want to do something it, want, it makes people psychologically prepare that this is not in my opinion not going to be easy but nothing in life worthwhile is ever easy is it achievable look i've said this before mike from the beginning i'm not worried about whether donald trump or the military save us I have an insurance policy. We, the people, all I need to do is kick that hornet's nest harder to get more Patriot street fighters to come out and say, you know what? None of you are doing this. You guys forked it all up forever. We're taking it all over. We're going to put you people down. All we need to do is have what three, 5% of us rise up collectively saying, that's it. We're ending this shit show. Yeah. They can't, they can't win. They can't win. If just even a fraction of us rise. So like, while you people, just like all my Christian brothers and sisters have been waiting around for 2000 years, don't do anything because Christ is going to drop on the planet, fix the whole show. Christ does that. He's going to say, you guys forked everything up. I'm supposed to come in and clean it up. What did you learn from it? How can you possibly deserve your ticket to heaven, right? By doing nothing. Christianity is an action plan. 
People have to get busy. Christ didn't, didn't go through what he did. So we just sit back and say, yeah, let, let them come in and flog us to death, right? Uh, that's not why he, you know, you know his, his life was what it was. So to answer the question the long way around, I am out to uh, lunch on that one until I see how many people are going to be standing over the next couple of months yeah, predicated yeah. on our influence that folks, you have power, you have power, you have power. Mm -hmm. uh, they only have the power we give them, right? Once that starts, then I'm going to say, hey, Mike, watch what happens in the next 90 days because this bomb is going off because when it happens, mm -hmm. it's not going to be this. We're not taking back ground like on the battlefield a little at a time. When that thing happens, you said it'll collapse in on itself. Oh, yeah. And I think that'll happen very quickly. So I think the next few months of what we see um, uh, and listen to people like you that are getting some good intel, like what's really going on behind the scenes, the ground being gained, there's controls in place to walk us through this valley of the shadow of death. So we actually wake the heck up, right? Mm -hmm. Um then uh, I think I think we're I think we're in a good place. I, I I always have. I've said numerous times. Look, we've already won this thing. It's already won. Doesn't mean we don't have to go in and clean up the remnants like after the Civil War, where there are assassinations and hits for the next ten years, right? Like that's what happened. But the simple fact is that this Kazarian mafia have, has not lost power in fourteen hundred years because they're very smart. But guess what? They lost power. Donald Trump was elected. They have been exposed, and now everything we do is basically helping with cleanup operations, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I, I've got a lot of people who are telling me, yeah, it's, it's pretty nasty down there. So a lot of guys are having to go through uh, some, you know, obviously getting PTSD from uh, some of the exposure they're getting, uh, the, some of the horrors they're seeing down there, you know, people gutted and all kind of crazy stuff. So they're having to, you know, be rehabilitated. So you're right. It's not, it's, it's not like, you know, we're all like winning. Like I remember, you know, being in SEAL teams and, and uh, six and CIA and doing different, different missions and everything was in our favor. We were going to like, just completely crush this thing. And then something would happen that just like, what, what, how, how do we miss that? You know? So it, it didn't go off perfect or we had to delay it. Um, so that happened with bin Laden. We had to, that was delayed over and over again. And then finally it was take, he was taken out. So there's a, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about, but they are happening. Like you're, you're seeing them, you're being informed. I'm being informed. All we can do is, and people are like, well, where is it? Where is it? You're not helping the process when you keep questioning like that, just be observant, you know, and, we're not, and I'm, I'm not telling you just be quiet and, and watch, you know, be observant be, you know, go look at other people, you know, look at that show we were just talking about. You just had, look at that guy. So guys on the surface, you know, like can do a lot. And he's, he's a, I mean, like we're talking about every state should still be locked down. We should still be in masks, but yet 21 states are not. Yeah. So the pushback is happening. It's gaining momentum as, as we go forward, it'll gain more momentum and it'll start to increase in momentum it'll start just like anything else like you're talking about that rocket you know on the pad it's like blasting it's just shaking and then all of a sudden it starts to move and then boom, it's, it's going to the moon you know so that's that's what's going to happen for a lot of people they're like going to be cheering here soon uh things are going to i people should be cheering right now yeah they should be cheering right now because things are, are moving against them and uh, some people are still like all depressed. Come on, you got to get on board. Help us move forward. Stop being a little, you know, negative. Uh, people are, I see in a chat in here, people are saying, how can I raise my love vibration? By being in love. Send love to people that you used to hate. You know, that makes a difference. I used to send love to Bin Laden. And Bin Laden's gone. I used to send love to Zarqawi. Zarqawi's gone. I can name name after name after name after name uh, that would blow you away. How I would send love to them. That vibration made them vulnerable, made them weak, and they're gone now. So as you raise your own vibration, and instead of hating on people like you and I that are trying to help people, you know, that's that's huge negative right there. Mm -hmm. 
start to just like, you know, get on board. It's like, okay, I'm going to be positive. This stuff is probably happening. Everybody's saying it's happening. I can't see it. The news is not broadcasting it, but maybe it is happening. So get into that, that zone of consciousness. Maybe it's happening. That's a huge step for a lot of people. And then start to send love. I'm telling you, you're, you are a warrior of light when you start to send love to people and you raise your vibration. And now you're in that higher states of consciousness that's going to lead to ascension for you and more people because you're doing that. So it's very, very powerful. You answered a very question I wanted to ask you because I know other people <laughs> out there are thinking, I was like, I'm glad, I'm glad somebody else thought because because I think that's critically important. I think if people want to have some certainty that 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 things are happening and that there is, you know, people we expected there was going to be this boom over. But again, if it happened, great. But what does that do for our brothers and sisters in humanity, people you love that would be left behind, right? They have to, we have to be walked through this process to wake people up. And let's face the facts. So much has happened, as we know, number one, that look at two things, the people from the left, the real believers that, that believe Biden, you know, that, that they were wanted Biden to win all that. They're starting to wake up. They're seeing a lot of this stuff is bullshit. They, we, we talk about the, 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 the staged um, uh, videos of anything that they're doing in the very beginning. He doesn't have the keys to Air Force One. He doesn't have it to the beast. He doesn't have the White House. How can you say nothing's happened? You see the White House is dark. You see ongoing arrests of pedophiles. You see different things coming out of DOJ. I could pull some up, but that, that have just happened. There's still, if, if, if these guys in DC were in full control, all these Justice Department uh, movements to take down some bad people, they'd be gone. That's how it works. Walk in, boom, new administration. Nope, shut that down. It's all done. These things are still moving forward. There's still prosecutions happening uh, in, 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 the, in the, uh, the, the voter realm as well, the, the, the whole election realm. Those things are still happening. They're not being shut down. So the cabal has lost power because these things never don't get shut down. These sometimes pedophiles, uh, many of them have a rape in a child. Yeah, he walks or he gets six months and he's free. That stuff is not happening now. So that's not, that, those are the two things that I think people, if they want to be confident things are happening, just look at the reality that we're looking at. It's around you every day. Every day you're like, yeah, that ain't normal. Hey, that's not normal. Mm -hmm. That sure as hell isn't normal. Like what's going on here? What's going on is the takedown of the cabal, you know, piece by piece by piece. So I don't know how, how you don't, uh, you know, you don't get excited about that at the end of the day. We've seen enough of the intel. Look, God wins, but we need to win in a way that we wake up as this. Look, Mike talks about sending love. How do you send love? Look at these people with Trump. And I got one that he truly helped save my life. He took me in for like three and a half years because I refused disability, you know, and and I I was going to, I didn't want to be, my mind was like, no way this guy's disabled. I, I couldn't buy into that. So this gentleman took me in, this older gentleman. He's just a wonderful guy. He truly is a believer. I mean, Trump derangement syndrome to the max, and, and I love him dearly. But you know what? What I realize is, is that the satanic influence on this, this planet has captured a friend of mine. And all I can do is like, I don't hold these people responsible. Sometimes the shills that come at me, they need to be made, they need to be spanked and put back in, in bed because the rest of the, the kids need to know they're going to get it too if they don't behave themselves. But <laughs> These other people, I look at them, I'm like, I've got to rescue them. The satanic order has gotten a hold of them, and I care about these people. So I can project that on to them from, from where I sit. By the way, at some point when I can find a more, I should say, controlled um, demolition of my daily schedule, <laughs> uh, I, I got to get in your, your intuition program because I've been thinking about it for a long time because I, I believe me, I need I need that kind of work. Keep thinking, where and how can I wedge this in? At some point, it's going to get to that. Going to get to that point, because uh, right. I I think that's to me that would be a massive highlight of my process. That would be just something that's uh, that I have to have. Believe me. Awesome. So uh, it's it's kind of cool. The the numbers are like we got one point one k with thumbs up. I know when I had my two hundred plus thousand channel, that would be like you know five times that I have like five times the viewers, although we do have almost 4,000. That's good. 
for a little, my new little channel that's just growing very, very quickly. People are finding me, fortunately. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's funny to see the ones because I look at them as angel wings and it's one on one right now. So lots of ones, lots of angelic talk we're doing right now. So people come on, they're like, they're two alpha males. They're going to like, you know, chest bump and back slap. It's going to be, it's going to be badass. And we're talking <laughs> about love, you know, <laughs> like, and, but that's the most powerful thing you can have the most powerful force in the universe. So if, if we can leave anyone with anything, that's, that's what we're leaving them. Scott, thanks for coming in. How can people reach you if they, they want to? Uh, we're back on Patriot street fighter seven on uh, YouTube. We got back on that channel, just got out of jail there. And uh, my main website, scottmckay.us, pretty easy, scottmckay.us. And, uh, and uh, I'm easily found on Telegram, Patriot Street Fighter, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I've made it. I've made it easy to figure out you can find me if you look, because I've been scattering myself everywhere to try to have multiple firing positions because they keep hitting me with some heavy ordnance. <laughs> exactly. Very, <laughs> yeah. very good. It was and a pleasure. I'll put those down in the, uh, you know, down in my... Uh, you know, comments area. Uh, but of course we have to like put it out because someone's going to capture this and send it out. So if people want to reach me, unleashingintuition.com, that's how you get me. So uh, thanks a lot for coming on and, and best of luck. We'll have to do this again, you know, when we can like, you know, hang out a little bit longer. You know, we both have busy schedules, so we got to got to run. But uh, in the future, so, so thrilling to, you know, have you on a show finally. And uh, I, I know that going forward, we're just going to like, you know, rock this world. It's going to be amazing. Well, I know the Patriot Street Fighter Ar Army has been bugging the shit out of me to get Mike Jaco on. I'm like, I'm telling you, he's elusive. He's a Navy SEAL. I've been hunting him for a while, and I have no skill sets to catch him. But now that I got you cornered today, I think oh, yeah. uh, we, we, we're running the show for a little while. That's good. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get you. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll figure that out, like, maybe in the next uh, week or two where you've got an opening. I'll, I know Tracy's handling your busy schedule. I'll check right, with yeah. her. And, and, and do you, do you ever, you live stream, you're cool if we just bring you right into a live stream or do you need to, rec how do you like yeah, to I, 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 do I it? prefer live stream. That, that way people know that we're not bullshitting them, you know? Yeah. Right, you guys like you cut and paste and you made it look pretty. No, we're just raw, uncensored and just put it out there, you know? Yeah. And that's, I, I, I put an intro onto the videos that I actually do like this, put an outro, boom, you're going to get it. Or if I like I'm scratching my nose or something in the beginning, I'll cut that stuff out. But quite honestly, but so yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get we'll do a uh, we'll do a, a 7 p.m. Eastern live stream. That's always my time I go. But I know the people yeah. love it, and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll get let's do it sooner rather than later. So it's e it helps people find you easier since that channel was was taken down. Yeah, um, good. good. Let's Thank help. You. Let's yeah. Let's let that. We'll, we'll get a lot of the Patriot Street Fighters. I know a lot of them watch you, so this will they can't find you. We'll make sure they. They find you. If you have time next week, let me know. Yeah, we'll definitely. Get out there. Find some time in there. I'm you sure. got it. Well, I appreciate your your time and the gentleman who was running a tech side down there. I believe that's what it is. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, brother. All right, brother. Cheers, Love you, man. Okay.